We're live. We're live. Fantastic. Hey! We've been sat here ages. We've been sat here for about 45, 50 minutes. But now we're ready. We're live now. So, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to be telling you all about Condensate Pro. Um, you know, the reasons why Dave invented it and all the different inventions and how we sell it, how you install it, um, why you install yeah. it. So, my first question to you, Dave, because I didn't even you know, said by this, but my first question to you is, what are the standards that make people fit this install installation? You've got, you know, what, where's it come from? Because a lot of people don't know about it. I no. didn't know about this until you talked so, to me about it a couple of years ago. Before we do that, let's just the oh, prize. Wow, yeah. yeah. So the prizes are the first prize, and if you get the question right when we contact you, you, that's added. Then there's two other prizes, uh, second and third in their mystery boxes, and then we've got a prize for. The apprentices. So we've got the fiber gas volume one and two, and a low lamp. Low lamp bed. Fantastic. That gets out of the way. So all you've got to do, everybody who's out, to put all the questions in. You're you're in. Anybody who else who wants to join, you don't have to ask a question. You can ask questions as well. That'll give you twice, double the times, double the chances to, to, to get in. To or you can just send an email to us at info at condensate pro co.uk and just say gas app or something that'll get you in or you can go on to uh, onto our website and uh, there's a messenger on there put just gas app onto there so anytime you can put just gas app or plum app because it's on both things we're on gas app and plum app so keep Some asking your questions on gas app now might not know that they could be in plum app as well as they gas app. do exactly the same so, so that's if you're in gas app join plum app Brilliant. Thank you very much. So, so we've got that one sorted. So, so what, just tell us again how we're going to win that. So basically, send an email or send a message on our on our uh, on our uh, website, or you can go on to Gas App as well and just put you've been on to here. But and then just put Gas App or ask us a question that'll get you in. So all the questions are live now. So ask us questions. We've got about thirteen or We've got about thirty now, and we're 32, 33. Fantastic. And then we're going to go through all the One bits. Last thing about yeah, so I'm always excited about competitions and stuff. You know that. When is it going to be decided to win right. this stuff? We'll finish. So it finishes around ten o'clock tomorrow morning. Everybody's in by ten o'clock tomorrow morning, and then we'll draw it, and then we'll tell you the results. We will draw it tomorrow, and the results will be put onto Plum App and Gas App at eight o'clock tomorrow night. Cool, that's good. So, so brilliant. Right. So, can I go, can I get the question back in? Go on then. So. A lot of people don't uh, understand or know that any external condensate pipes should be insulated. So, so some people who, who understand it now and get it. And so where did it come from, Dave? In your, in your brain, where did it come from, this invention? So when I had a heating company, we're fitting not only on domestics, but also different contracts and also eco and different things. And it all had to be a certain set standard. We were still getting because we'd live in uh we were doing things in up in, in scotland the north all all over and we were getting areas just like we are now with what just suffer with frozen condensates every year yeah but they have never been a product and there's never been the real products to help install us properly and also look quality because we're we're, we're talking about quality heating engineers here so we are we're all professionals here we all want to do a job so the products that were uh, were passed to us were not never really the right products. So what we what we what I wanted to do is make the products right for an installer to fit fast, but yeah. also to look quality and also obviously be max protection and comply with all the regulations. But the the main one was to help installers with the right products because class O lagging that we've got a bit here, yeah. I'm not we're not it's not a competition. It wasn't made for condensates it was just something oh yeah it's used class o lagging and then everybody knows that if you don't paint it twice it's not protected it starts to go like a sponge it starts to deteriorate and then it doesn't work there's other things where you've got the splits and everything on it just doesn't work and the other one it looks terrible on a customer's house it does on the clips you know you, they, they've usually got the clips on the on the pipe already and they're trying to clip, well, they clip into that and then the, what they do is tie up it and the, the the biggest things i want to say to you is there's the four big things and i've got them up there so i can see them because i forget all the time trying to put everything in four biggest things to make a perfect condensate insulation is materials the right materials so it has to be the right material 
uh, weatherproof, UV proof, also the other things about the adhesives and everything, they all have to be the right materials. The other one would be fitting, yeah? It needs to be fitted perfectly right because it's not just something we can just do and get away with. The problems with condensates is because they're not to these four, four things. If it's fitted right, and that means as vertical as possible, as vertical as possible, without minimising the 45s and the elbows, so you're getting that condensate water as hot and as fast down to the termination, yeah? Okay. Then the next one would be not connecting to any pipe work that can be restricted or blocked. Now, it's simple for us to say, oh, yeah, I did an internal insulation, then it goes outside. But the other biggest one is is blocked or restricted by food or other ways because that'll slow the condensates you've down. Got, you've got rice, you've got grease, you've got food that go down there. We saw it last month. You know, people were sending us back. They were, we, yeah. You know, we had 12, well, 1,378 calls of frozen condensates and people were sending us photos back and going, look, it's all backed up here because of the, the kitchen. So it's best to have its own termination and tell the customer that it's got its own termination. That, that, that what we were on about there is, you know, like say you're going to connect into a sink and then you're going to say, well, that's, that's an internal, but it's not because once it goes back through that wall, it then becomes an external condensate, which should be insulated. insulated. It's and it's hard to insulate that sort of thing because it could be push fit. There's all sorts of things which we'll go into. The other one would be that it's got to be terminated correctly. So the termination has got to be into the in, into the drain and terminated as best as possible. Uh, the next one would be sealing. So everything's sealed correctly. We've got everything uh, sealed properly. All the joints are sealed. Everything's done to the right standard. So there's no moisture or no rain or anything can get into there. And the last one was maintenance. You know, we're all plumbing and heating engineers. We're all professionals. We, you know, we want to go back. And we're, we're servicing these boilers. We're, we're repairing boilers. We're checking people's condensates to make sure that you can maintain it. And all the products we've made is to, to make it easy to maintain. Right, so let's just get back to the original question that I started it with before the competition even. So British Standard 6798 stipulate that if you've got an external condensate pipe, it's got to be insulated. Yep. Yes. So what I'm saying to you, Dave, is that we've seen this a lot. So people were coming and saying that we use this Armaflex, which I find very difficult to install properly. It's not really the right thing for the job. And so I've got now manufacturer's instructions, MIs, that say adhere to 6798. Yeah. Not just that. They've got British Standard 6798. You've got the HHIC guidance. And you've also got the manufacturer's instructions. So they're all the things that are telling you you've got to do this. So some people say, I just use, I use 40 mil. What we've seen last month. You know, yeah, you, I, you've had people, you know, it's all saying we don't it. have it. It doesn't happen down south. That's worse. The worst time was down south. And we only had three or four days of really bad weather. Imagine if we had a beast from the east. So the other thing that I'm saying is that I use this now. You know, when I'm going to, when I'm going out to price a job up, so I'll say... Um, I'm gonna I'll tell them all about the job, the boiler, the radiators, the valves, the thermostat, everything that I'm going to install. And then I say, and I'm going to install this uh, Condensate Pro because it's going to insulate your external pipe work if it is external. I mean, there are the odd ones that are inside. And then I'll say, because when it freezes, did you hear about people's condensates freezing? And this is what I'm going to do so that when it's freezing cold and everybody else's boiler's not working because it's not being done. Yours will, but and because when do you need your boiler the most? But Andy did a customer won't know. But that's it's what I'm saying. That's for us to tell well, that's them. That's why I use it as a yeah. unique selling point. A unique selling, selling point. But at the end of the day, you don't go to buy a car and it's got no uh, antifreeze in the engine, and it's always tested by the professional when they go and service it. So it should be done. It shouldn't be ever left. We shouldn't be having customers saying to me, "I've, I've got a frozen condensate because it's not being protected." But you can't blame the installers if they've not had the right products to do it. And that is what I've, the really positive one about it, Andy, is all the installers that we've been talking to, yeah, they all want to do the job right, but there hasn't been the right products. And they've been trying to use this, and it looks horrible, so they've moved off it. Yeah, that's the people that we want to be helping and making sure that we've got it. The thing was that you've got your Class O lagging that's £3.75, and then you've got your um, a meter, and then you've got your Condensate Pro that's about £3 more. But it's not really because you've got to paint that twice to make yeah, it. Do it to be painted at the right temperatures. Right temperatures. If it's if it's raining, you can't do it. If it's cold, you can't do it. And how are you going to paint that twice? You're going to 
go back and do it. You're going to you're going to hang it up in your garage and paint it beforehand. Then you've got a ceiling. So it, when you look at the two products together, yeah, well, there's three pound. The the, well, if you want to buy them like that, the three pound this three pound uh, difference. But that's but that's that's done, done that's finished done. and ready. That's not so when you when you add it up, if you took say thirty eight pound an hour, how much would that cost in your time to get that to the right standards? And that's why a lot of people aren't fitting it to the right standards because they didn't even know that manufacturers that it needs to be. Yeah. But you find people saying, oh, it's rubbish this because it, it acts like a sponge. Yeah, because it's not being protected. But it's a nightmare to protect. Yeah. So when we're talking about the things like that, but then what I've, I've, what I've made is I've made all the products. Yeah. And basically you don't have to use the products. You can so use I think personally that we should be talking about what the products are, the, yeah. how we sell them, and then we can talk about you, that you can make it so yeah so, so basically the connection, the connection kit. kit that comes like it's in a box um, it's like this this sort of size box there it is in fact here is the box the connection kit comes with everything in it so it's got a pre-made connection in it already made you can see how much bond and seal there is onto that one then you can then take it all the way through if you want to you can the, what comes in them at the moment is a uh, a pipe snug 52 mil core bit that's your 52 mil core core screw and that puts your pipe snug in but what a lot of installers have been saying they want to take the insulation all the way through so i would say 65 mil that'll then take your insulation you can pop it all the way through and then bond and seal it as the new videos are showing if you bond and seal it and if we can show you when it has bonded and sealed that's what it does so that's how good it is that's how strong it is that's just stuck with that bond and seal. so that's bond and seal that seals it to the wall then you've got your clip and you've got a tube of bond and seal. Now, the reason why I put a bond and seal in each uh, connection kit is so you don't forget it. So there's enough on there to do a three meter run, yeah? But I didn't want to put it extra because if you forgot about it, if you use anything else, it just doesn't work because it needs to expand and contract. So everything's in that kit. Then we've got a termination kit and basically I made that, it's for the soil pipe connection. So. It's basically a, a, a termination that you can set the angles to. Say it was going to a soil pipe, you just terminate it up to there, connect up to a connection kit, and then you'll be able to do it in 20 minutes, half an hour. So and that's standard 32, 32 mil. mil pipe, solid well pipe. You don't want to buy anything else. It's just look, that's a fitting that we've, we've done exactly the same as what you can buy from any plumber's merchants. So they're all just pre-made for you. Basically, we are your little apprentices making them up. So you can either make your own kit, or you can buy our kits. So that's that's the uh, termination. Termination. Thing, like I said. So what I, the other thing that I've been using these for is when you're coming down a wall and the grates far away, a bit further away from the wall. So you can use it like that to go straight into it. You know, you can just just turn it, and then all you do there, because we've left that unglued, because you might want to go at a different angle. All you've got to do is glue that, and then put your bond and seal on there. Shove it together in situ as you might want it, and then put a cap in on that, and then you can make it look as good as that. It's easy. So that's what you make it look like. So it's waterproof. It really does look absolutely it, professional on a customer's house. The other th the other thing that we sell is three meter lengths. <coughs> so they are one meter lengths, and there's three of them in a box. So you can utilize that. So people have asked, said, and they how much is a standard kit? So this is your connection kit, isn't it? Yeah. So you buy one of those because you've got to come through your wall. So every install is going to have that. And usually you'll have one length or part of a length of the one meter kit. So a standard installation it's is around one. about what? Well, it's the one meter combo kit. Yeah. So how much? So if you, so that's 25 quid. Yeah. So if you get to the one meter combo kit, Andy. Yeah. So that's why we were asked, and this has come on, the one meter combo kit has got everything in it. So it's got a connection kit, a connection it's got uh, two clips in, but you want one every 500. It's got uh, the uh, pipe snug in it. And it's also got, what is really important, is the spacer bar. And that spaces it off the wall for not only making sure that you can, no contaminants can get around it and damage the damage the, uh, the insulation. But also, if you've got a pipe coming off and you want to space it off, you can then space that off, off the wall, as you can see on the video. So that's really good. Uh, to, to use and that's in the kit um, so all I usually do is the good thing I've got is that when you've got your insulation going say going down a wall like that into a drain 
and you want to keep it off the wall obviously to stop ingress of water getting in their dirty stuff that you know getting onto there and ruining it you cut the you've got the clip that you put on there and then obviously you've got to keep it away from the wall so you just cut that to the right length sometimes you have to get past what i've had to do one of them is get past the gas pipe so instead of putting more fittings on you just take it a little bit further away from the wall and then that you can cut this spacer bar dead easy to cut so obviously just put them in your in your cutters whatever length and then just cut it like that so you can cut it to whatever length you want if it's on stone walls you might want it a bit longer yeah, because of the undulating stone so that's got a hole in it look so you can fit your screw through there so basically you've got your another this one i prepared earlier and another reason why we did them as well is the hole inside holds the screw so you can make it up and if you're up a ladder you're not dropping all these bits it's so you can thing. get it like that so we've tried to think of everything but you might want to do them yourself if you want if you want looking at the cost between uh class o and insulation it's just three pound a meter more but it's not because you've still got to in you've still got to paint that glass o or you or seal it and that's where this comes in that all you've got to do is bond and seal it up and then it's perfectly done and dead but you can make them and as, as we can see if you wanted to make your own connection kit basically you just cut into there and i think squires is on there i had a an idea about making something and i showed him and then uh, zach from squires plumbing and eating has made us these these uh, well, quick cuts so it's a, a 40, it's a 45 angle on one side and it's a 22.5 on the other. So you can make your 45s and your 90s simple. The cut that. In, cut that. Got, uh, my assistant will pass me the hacksaw. Cut that. So you could have your apprentice making these, wouldn't you? Yep. Yeah, that's all, your lad, whatever you want. Your apprentice. Push Pop that, that on, bond and seal, plenty of bond and seal, because if you look at our connection kits, there's a lot of bond and seal on there, because that is the that. biggest area what's going to get the most impact uh, from rain. the rain and, and expansion and contraction. And all you do there is bond and seal it all up and then cap it. So you can make your own if you want. We're Which going to be selling the these. Seal. So Squires is, uh, Zach's going to be making these at 3D printer, and they're going to be a five, and I'll just sell them through, and anybody wants them, give us contact. So they're shot. made they are made especially for this size insulation yes so it's basically what what we were showing people is you could use some um 68 mil rainwater pad but it's a bit loose and what what zach's just done is made a perfect one he just cut it in seconds so what he also said zach and other people and i know you've said it to me is yeah that's great but sometimes it's time and i just want them to look right and do them i haven't got that time and when i've done that then i'm moving it all about so that is where the connections the terminations because you've you've added it all up and how much time it spends you know it for me on what for me as an installer i want to be spend as little time as i can doing that and making it look right so i always get the connection kit termination kit and then the pieces of pipe in between because it looks spot on i can make it look spot on but if it's raining or a bit drizzly outside, do I really want to be outside? Or do I just want to go, bump, 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 jobs are good and it's taking me 20 minutes. And then the, the other thing that I do is I put my clips on where the joint, so you can't even see the joints. And I've, I've obviously capped it all to make it look like that on the outside. So I put my clip on. I've obviously got my spacer bar that I've put down specially to fit between. Once I've done it, when I've been drilling the clips on, sometimes I get a bit of dust on here. And you know, like some people like polishing pipes inside to make the boilers look all lovely. I like doing that as well. So what I've been doing is I've got the maintenance coat. <clears throat> and when I finish doing my job, I paint it with this maintenance coat. And then it's dead easy. I'll be, to be honest with you, I've been doing it with a little flux brush. You know, them little tiny flux brushes. Dead easy. And then I just clean that off when I finish. And I'll tell you what, I've even had the customers come out and go, wow, that looks amazing. And they do actually come out and say, wow, what is that? Or, and it's that better than really looking... Good like a bag of rubbish with anything else that's out there and it's better than not putting any on well, and letting it freeze for your customer well it's to your customer your customers are your most important people because they tell other people well, they're the asset, aren't they? i mean there's a lot of guys being and girls being telling me that they've they've installed it yeah and the other customers have been next door neighbors been coming and going oh that's great i've had a problem can can you come and do mine so it could get you work also profit you know guys if the if the um 
25 quid for a standard or you're going to make your own, there's a lot of profit in upgrading because there's millions and millions and millions out there I'll tell you what, that need well, to be upgraded. One that I've done is I've done some work for a guy who's, I think he's got about 25 properties. And I said to him, I told him about this, and I said, do we have many problems? Uh, he says, I get loads of problems and phone calls and I can't do anything about it because sometimes when it's freezing cold and this that's when this happens, you've got ice and snow on the road okay some plumbers might think oh i'm making 65 quid to drive out there and uh, un unfreeze it but inadvertently you're risking your life you're risking your van how many people crash in in, in icy weathers and stuff like that so what we what i've said to him was i'll tell you what i'll do when i'm going around servicing your boilers or doing your landlord's ta gas test certificate i'll have a look and i'll charge you 90 pounds per one some i'll make more money on than others because they're a bit longer and some I can, you know, make a bit more money. So it's just I, I say with him it swings and roundabouts, but um, making about sixty pound profit on each yeah, one, and it's dead easy to do. It's dead easy to upgrade. We've got all the tools to upgrade it. So that's where this kit comes in. It's called a drift kit. So I wanted Dave, I wanted to make sure they got everything. And you know me, I've tried to think of installers first. That's what it's all about. Well, you um, are an installer. I know yeah. you had a big company and all that. Yeah, but but still, in your brain, you're still an installer. Well, you saw me. I was still. I love to do things and make sure the installers have got everything they needed to do the job right. So I've made the drift kit, and the drift kit is to make upgrading those holes really, really simple. So no matter what, that's the sixty-five, or you've got. The, the 52 or the 38 you go through 65 and instead of having your drift bar that's 12 mil you just take that out and you put it in so that this is an overflow pop that in and then we've got a, one here so your overflow pipe you cut it off flat or that's what going to there and basically that would then core through all the way through like that once you've started off pull it out it started off you're not having to try and get that on and it, it really does make it fast and simple yeah so the other thing that I like about that, Dave, is that if I, you know, sometimes I, it's nothing to do with condensates, but no. it's the way I can use this, because this kit does a 32 mil expansion and a 40, 40 mil. mil. So it's just for argument's sake, I put my pipes through the wall and the gable uh, on a, a loft conversion, a lot of loft conversions. Then the renderer comes and renders them all, and then I can't fit my fittings on because the, the fittings are too far away from the wall. So... What I can do is put that into my core, put it inside my pipe, that spins so it doesn't actually melt the pipe or anything, and then I can drill a perfect hole around it, just take it out, and then I can put my fittings right in the wall, and it's absolutely Brilliant. spot on. So that's another reason, another way of using these to, you know, in your plumbing. Just so life. we're talking about core, yeah? With the bond and seal now, you can make the gasket and seal, so you can have used the 52 mil and use the pipe snug, yeah, if the manufacturer's instructions are telling you to take the insulation all the way through, and please look at the HHIC guide, because I was involved in that. We've tried to make it simple, and it's saying if the internal, uh, the cavity wall isn't insulated, then it's up to you to decide. And we all know that there's loads of manufacturer's instructions are varying, yeah? And there could be a boiler that's four or five years old. So always so talk to your the manufacturers. Yeah, They're yeah. there to help, and they are... As you know, they're endorsing it. So all the big boiler manufacturers are endorsing it. Ideal, Valiant, Worcester, Intergas, Baxi are coming on. Hopefully, I've got them coming over to do it. all the ones. And so, all it is is about to make sure they, they were protecting the boiler and the customer and you, the installer. That's right. So just for argument's sake then, right, what happened? Remember a few months ago when we had a little, really a little freeze for three or four yeah. days? What happened if you were if you were out there and your customer or you were ringing one of these big boiler companies up? What were they getting? They were getting an automated service because it was crazy. They got thousands and thousands of calls. Can you imagine how many boilers get fitted every day? Six thousand a day. So Six thousand boilers fitted every day, and obviously a percentage of them froze up. I mean, we, I had pictures. I, I even had uh, some of some of the stuff that uh, I, I had to go to, to to unfreeze and stuff like that, and then. How simple is it to sell them that as an added extra when you've been in um, an unfrozen one? Or how simple is it is when a customer rings you up and says they've had no problems? I mean, a guy, somebody were asking, uh, have, you, has, have you got any guarantees on this? Obviously, it's insulation. The guarantee is this, if it does start to start looking a bit tatty and things or looking a bit uh, disheveled, yeah, maintenance coat. Just pop a bit of maintenance coat. Also, 
I know we're going to come on to some questions and there's some great questions. Somebody said, what about if it gets ripped and he's repairing? This is the only time I'll tell you to, to ever cut it and slit it. Take that piece out, cut it at the back, yeah? And then what I'd do is use the bond and seal and bond and seal it round the back and tighten it up and then it'll seal it to the uh, to the pipe so it doesn't expand and contract over and you're not putting any tie wraps or anything around it because any tie wraps, if it's not sealed, as we've said, the four main things on a condensate insulation is the material fitting it right and sealing it right and maintaining it four things that's the, the, if you can get them four things right and that hopefully i've made all the things to make it simple for for everyone to, to do but if you do them right we don't have it the guy in scotland said he'd fit 193 on a contract yeah and it was minus 23 up there and he said every single one was perfect never got a callbacks from other, some other products of this TED, we have been using 9 mil sticking together, glass over, tie wrapping it. They all failed and they were getting real callbacks. Because what you realistically want to do is keep the water out, keep the yes. UV out and seal it properly. Like like, like we said, I mean, if you, we, I can make them I can make them and make them look like that. And it's not hard. It's, it's simple. It, all you do is you get your bond and seal and where you've got this we, that we cut earlier with that mitre block, that Mr. Squire's made. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Good lad. So yeah. you just cut the corner off that and just squeeze it in there like that. And then you just push it together. Yeah. And all I usually do is um I wear them oh. black black mamba gloves and I just go like that and seal it round. And that and I promise you you can make them look like that. It's very, very, very easy. So Customers happy. All they want is all they want really is a boiler installing, don't they? A lot of people you go to, I mean, I get a lot of people come. I go to boilers uh, now for quotes, and I say, you know, what do you want? And they say, well, what boiler shall we have, Andy? And I tell them the boiler. I tell them how am I going to install it. I show them pictures of boilers that I've already installed, and my unique selling point now is this. So I always say to them, if anybody else is coming around to quote, make sure that they are installing this now. It's, it's it's dead easy to install, like I said, about 20 minutes and it's done. If you want to make your own, I mean, some people like, this, you know, making making their own kind of stuff and doing this. It's, it's quite easy. And I think especially when you've got one of these, because on that side, it does 90s. And on that side, 45. So if you want to do a little 45. So you can see there, people are saying it's, it's harder to get. Yeah, it is quite hard to get out. And yeah, it, it's thick substance. It's not silicon. But if you just... Got older it like that, it comes out pretty simple. And then you just pop that round. Another one we've been showing is as you do, Andy. Now, yeah, is all you do. Can you hold me that? Okay. All you do, as Andy said, is you just get it onto the end. Yeah, put forty-five there, and it comes out simple. Use it like a like a sachet but, rather than a tube. And I wish I had put it in sachets instead of the tube. The reason why I did the tube is I love that end to seal up. But if you get everything when you finish with it and seal that piece up, I guarantee it all keeps it really well. But as you said to me, you put one in each pack. Why they want? Somebody said to me, "But I'm tight. I want to save it." And if you want to make some pre-made uh, 90s and uh, and 45s, have a look at, uh, at the, at the our, our videos, and that'll show you how to make some. You can make it's some up. Man. But it's so simple to do that. Just pop it onto there and put plenty on. Put really right, plenty so you've, got, you've got plenty to do, haven't you? There you go. And then I'm going to get messy. So you always get dirty. Always, um, always wear gloves. I like not to wear gloves. And all you're going to do then is just cap it. Yeah. So what you're making sure you're capping it because if you don't cap it, yeah, and you leave a gap, that's where the moisture or the water will get in. And then and when then it freezes, it freezes it expands yeah. and makes it, yeah. Yeah, so that's what you're doing, yeah? And that that's easy to do. If you want to make your own, then make your own. If you feel as though you want to, then get the bond and seal, get the insulation. I know the spacer bar, some are asking me, and I've, I've, I've given loads away that people are using it also for waste pipes, and they're, they're, they've asked me for that to, to move them off because they've been moving. So if you do, gutters, down pipes on gutters. email us, I'll send you some as well. So get in touch with me. We're here to help. It's 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 a it's what we're trying to do is make a complete solution. But we have made the products, but you also can do them yourself. Just use the insulation, the bond and seal. So that's what 
what, so, what we've done. On the last one that, that I did was over at the Chesterfield, and it was that um, charity do that we did. So yeah. basically, I drilled I 65 mil into that, 65 mil hole yeah. right through the wall, yeah, and then I shoved the insulation right through the wall and cut it level with the internal brickwork, and then I just went off that with an elbow and straight to the boiler. So and it, it went easy. I can understand that, you know, just for argument's sake, say you're in a kitchen, you know, like a, someone's really nice kitchen and you don't want to be drilling 32 mil right through the wall because it's going to look a bit of a cobbler, isn't it, to be fair? Um, so what I was saying is you can take it as far as you can and then you've got a socket that you can glue onto it and then you can just take your 21 and a half through the last, yes, through the last bit. If you can, depending on the manufacturer, no, about the very last, very yeah, last yeah, sort of bit. So, yeah, to try and make the holes smaller in people's kitchens, just going through the holes as well. If we're going to make so, we've got 65 perfect old bond and seal. If you when you bond and seal on the 65, if you've insulated it up, if you put the bond and seal all the way around and then push it in, it makes a sealed gasket. And then, as you we did on, on the charity job, just makes it up there. Andy's got one here. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> there, look, there you can just see. And then we bonded and sealed it round, and it does really set like bell metal. I mean, we've got that one on there, and that one's set like That's bell metal. That's polystyrene, that. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. <laughs> um, what else we got? Coring through. So you've got the 65. If you want to use the pipe snug that's in, and you, the, the manufacturers are telling you not to go through the insulation, yeah? 52 mil and then if you're not going to go all the way through then get a 38 so go through the first one the first brick 65 52 and then when you get through to try and make the hole smaller 38 mil and go through go through with your 38 it's quite easy to do and then you can install you can fit this right through to the uh, internal brickwork so it's the cavity is there and then that's the external brick and then obviously you've got the outside part, so you can you can see it right up to that wall. When you're shoving it through, uh, well, when you're shoving it into the uh, cavity and the brickwork, you just put some bond and seal round, and then as it goes through, you can make that nice uh, gasket. So again, you don't have to use the uh, what's called pipes. Pipes. Yeah, you don't have to use them. So you can just seal it straight to the wall with this. And like we've shown you earlier, just show him again how strong that is on that polystyrene. It's polystyrene thing. thing. That's how strong it is. And that's only <laughs> show them again. There's a show them on that. <laughs> right now, so grand head. Right. So if you've got a wall that's uh, stone or undulating that martial art, something like that, a bit like what, what you're showing there. I don't know if you could show that. Again. <laughs> he waits. Right so basically, we've got a stone work, and it's you you want to fit something flat up to that, don't you? So your insulation, you've got to you want to ins in put your bond and seal round to seal it to the wall so that no water ingress is going to get inside. So what Dave's invented is this. I don't know if you can see that. It's called the grinder head. I'll try and show you as best I can. So you put that into your SDS drill. It's got SDS fitting. Pop that in. And then you drill that. You drill a little hole first, obviously, for your pilot. Eight mil. You drill that. Keep that into there. You drill it in, and that'll take the... the um, the stone off so it makes it flat. flat so like i said they are tungsten tipped i've done a few of these in fact the first one I ever did let's that. get that question answered somebody says can you do you want to resharpen them honestly that will last forever because we're only taking five three to five millimeters off once you put that on and made the round once it goes and makes a circle it's flat also what you've been doing and shown is the outside taps you know them outside taps you get with the brass disc on perfect for them not your idea that one. The only thing I've invented that. <laughs> but they are perfect. But it's all about getting everything right and making so sure is, we adhere. This is basically. Let's show you again. Right. So that's what we did. Drill a hole in there, make it flat. Yeah. Then we drilled the hole in 65. 65. So we could use our 65 mil leggy. And we can go right through there now, like that. Yeah. So we've got a nice edging there so what i did was as i've as i've pushed it in i've put the the uh bond and seal around there so as i've pushed it in it makes a lovely joint there so that no water ingress can get into it so that's on that's if on that got one 
and if you've not got one and it's just a flat surface, you can yeah. just still drill, drill a 65 and then put the bond and seal on, like we've said, around it, and that makes a perfect seal. But it, it does if you've got the if you've got the drift kit for your stone walls, just it's perfect for that. But the other thing, well, I, the good thing I think about this as a visual, I'll just do it again because <laughs> just right, so is look, look how neat it looks. No it's just showing off now, just So yeah, so that's how neat it looks. So that's that, isn't it? That's how yeah. that works. So yeah. that's good. So if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to use the uh, pipe snug, I could use that, drill it, and then the pipe snug fits perfectly flat against the wall. So well, pipe snugs. If if it's if it's a stone wall or it's a or it's a pebble dash wall, how's work. it going to fit flat? Well, that's you can, the only you thing can you can use so you to flatten it off with that. So you can use it on, like, say, pebble dashing and uh, stone walls. And also, guys, if you're going away from condensates and you're using pipe snugs and you've got them and you're using them on forty twos, thirties, you know, that's perfect for them. And the core bits, you know, when you've got your existing, you're doing bathrooms and things. The drift kit will just expand them so you can get you cut you can use a pipe snug in every single situation, not just the new holes. You can actually use the pipe snug uh, on your existings by upgrading with the drift kit and the grinder head. Yeah. So we've talked about all the tools that you've got. Um, there's a few little Questions. bits there. Is it, I'm not quite one minute. It's hard to... So there's one little thing left, isn't there? Uh, what? Oh, good job, Andy. So ask me the question. Why? Uh, ask me the question. Dave, you know them little sachets that you were talking yeah. about earlier? Um, I'll tell you what I did. These, these, because when it's a cold day, I was getting these and putting them in a cup of red hot water so that the viscosity was lowering so I could squeeze it out the end of there. But since I found that I can cut the corner off like that, that's a lot easier. But, Dave, have you got anything else, Dave, that you've invented that you... That we could well use it so instead. the reason why i put it into these is the 80 gram is to make sure you've got one in each pack yeah and the reason why i didn't use these the mastic cartridge is because we'll be putting lots in it yeah once it starts to plunge down there i was having it going off here so it was wasting it and i didn't want you guys to say well i bought all that and it's wasted yes. plus if i put them in each in each uh, connection kit then the cost goes up so i got to that and I, I only got it for that. I wish I'd have just bought a sachet with that and just uh, make, add you cut them off. But I really only went for that one is because of that to seal it up. But like we said, we've got that. But then I still got people asking me and wanting to use more, more bond and seal. Yeah. So they want to make their own 45s and connections. And this is just too, too big. So what I have done now when they came today, actually, is the... So you get there's 85 in that. It just there's 150 grams in that one. It's like a mini half a tube, and as you can see, it's filled up to there, and you've got enough in there, and they will be around seven pound fifty in the merchant. So they're not I, double the price of that. So I've made sure that I, I find that now I've taught myself that you can cut the corner off. They're a doddle. That's a doddle now. Well, so that I've just I've no. I'm just saying it's a doddle now. But. This. This been is me. better. I've, so, I've been asking him for this. Uh, and the, the people I've been you, trialing them to be fair. Yeah, I've been tri trialing them. And there's, been been th are. there's been eight or nine who I've sent them out with, and you've been at you've, else, you've, from me. Yeah. Not from me. You've you've been going for months with them and saying, "Well, I've not had it. I've not had it going hard." But our the price was the biggest one. If I put every one of them into yeah, it, if I did it separately, yeah. I could guarantee that plumbers would forget, and then they'd use something else and they'd fail. That's why I wanted to put one in the connection kits, but we're going to get them separately, and then eventually I think we'll then start putting them into the connection kits, but we'll see how we go. Like I say, please email us on that. I'll send you some of them out. If you get in touch with me. Me, me Dave, me, yeah. Dave, me, Dave, 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 me. So send me some out. I know there's guys who have been sending us messages now, been using it, and they love it. So I've, I've answered your questions, guys. You've Dave. been asking about it. Dave. You you get Dave, you, got a question. you can have one. What? Got a question. What? Right, we're on about some other things that we've got going off here. Are we going to answer questions and leave that till last? What should we do it now? No, I think tell them about that because that's something else, and then okay. we'll answer questions. We've got loads of questions. More. We'll, we'll be very quick. Oh, so, Dave, somebody on one of the questions, I'll find it out while you're answering it, has asked, yeah. "Have you got any plans for air source heat pumps, external pipe work, or oil boilers?" And I said, "Well, 
We might have, Dave. Might we, Dave? Dave, have we got any answers about that? Dave? So the reasons, so we've made, it's not out yet, so contact us. We've made the 28 mil by 19 mil insulation for air source heat pumps and external oil boilers. And the reason was is these quality air source heat pump guys have been using my insulation for the condensate drain that comes off the bottom of the air source to take it in. They've been wanting to protect it because a lot have been freezing. As we said, we had around 42 air source heat pumps that had frozen because they were off the floor, but the ice had, lift, uh, had gone up to the condensate uh, discharge on the bottom of the tray and frozen up. So they've asked me while they were using that, could I make some? So we've made the 28 mil, the 13 mil insulation, exactly the same, all done already. That then uses a rubber 90, uh, sorry, 70 Munsonry fits perfectly. So you can make it look spot on on the outside. You're not having to, because a lot of guys have been putting the, putting the pipes in with clips on and then trying to make it They're also hard. the same thing they've been using Classo and it looks terrible. And everything else looks perfect. They've got the conduit, they've got you everything. Some people say, well, we just use that plastic boxing. Well, when you use the plastic boxing, all it, what happens there is mice get inside, they start eating the insulation. Can you hear it, like, dog? It doesn't matter. It's, it's good, Matt. It's good. So it's just protecting us, that's all. So, so, we, so, that's, so, your, so that's your answer for that one. We'll so air source and oil. So it's there. Give us a shout. Don't forget, keep sending us anything or sending us messages in. So if you've only just joined, where have you been? No, if you've only just joined, right? don't forget to send us a message to this. And then we'll put you in the prize. How many prizes have you got there? How many We've prizes? got four, three main prizes, and then one for the apprentices and new people. So well, we talked. We've talked all about that earlier. So all you've got to do is if you send us a question, all you've got to do is rewind it and watch it. You know. Um, so yeah. So all you've got to do is uh, to enter that is just send us a message on this, and we're, we're going to pick somebody out tomorrow to win it. There's going to be some fabulous prizes. We've got some great. Dave, what? I know answer. I know answer. Well, Dave, what? What do they have to do to win? You have to do to win is email us info at condensatepro.co.uk. Ask us a question or just say gas app, plum app, making sure because we've got both on the live lounge tonight. Fantastic. So go on to that or go on and send us a message on to here now. Even if it's just not, just send us a message on, on, on live lounge and just say hi, and that gets you in as well. So we've got loads That's of questions. So we get some, some right. So we're going to go for some questions now. A mate of mine sent one in here. A mate of ours. Oh, Kev. Kevin Bates. So he's put, hi, Dave. What was your motivation to design the product and moving forward? Any exciting news on the new sort of pipes and lines? So, which we've obviously answered a lot of that, haven't we, already? Yeah. My main one is to help installers and find the right products that then looks as good as all the rest of the work. Yes, it complies with all the British standards and everything, but they can be safe and secure that they've protected their customers because we're still getting it. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Hydrogen produces a lot more water, so we're going to be hydrogen ready. And we are, can't be saying, oh, it's not come for 2018. It's been years. Last month saw that we've had a major frost. It was Again, I think that I, like, I like the one that you said, because I, a, lot of, a lot of people have said, well, we live down south and it never freezes down there. Well, it did this time. And if you get a car, if you've spent thousands on a car and it's come and it's got antifreeze in it, do you say to the mechanic, take the antifreeze out because I don't need it where I live? So... If you're going to protect your car, let's start protecting people's boilers. But also, the right. customer don't know. You know, they're, right. they're expecting you to do everything right, and you've done all the other things, filters, aerators, everything, and that little bit, now we've shown you, could be six, eight quid, yeah, is nothing compared to what you've done for everything else. Yeah. So for a two and a half thousand, three thousand pound job, it could be a six thousand full insulation, yeah? We know, we all know it should be terminated internally, but 70% of all the drains or external drains and soil pipes, so even on new houses. Race through these as best we can. We have got lots of questions. So Go on then. We've got Ramey Antar. He yeah. wants to know where you can buy it. Where can I buy it from? So Wolseley got it all stocked. All the nationals have got it stocked. All the independents who installers have been in there and asked, if you've got an independent who's still not got it in, tell them to get in touch with us and we'll sort stocking it and get it sorted. We can do everything for them. Well, I think I found the winner of the first prize. Anyway, it's... Uh, Callan Fielding, let me know for this one. He's put, I fitted one of these yesterday. They are great. Love the connection kit and the termination kit. I would ask, are you going to have the bond and seal available in tubes for a skeleton gun? The little tubs, uh, he found it difficult to get through that end, but we've told you about that. Just showed you how to do that. Simple. And then it's put at the end, 1,000 times better than armor lagging. 
So he's he's got first prize. So <laughs> you're now battling for it. you're now battling for second and third prize. Whoever's out there. So Liam. So Liam says, do you do any products that would fit existing inch and a half waist pipe? Right. This is a really big one, and they're all about inch yeah, and a half. Right. right. I'll go through this one, and it really is important, and I'll spend spend some time on it. Like we've said, the four main parts of, cond of condensates are up here, Mater the right materials, making sure you fit it correctly, make sure it's sealed and make sure it's maintained. So if you then start wanting to insulate an existing inch and a half pipe, you're going to have to cut it and wrap it. And tie wrapping and not seal it properly is just a nightmare. So it really is a problem. So also, most of them will be uh, push fit. And we can't put on to push fit. So then we're going to have to start to go into solvent weld and push fit. Another reason was is most of them are going to be either restricted or blocked up. So it's best and simple and quicker to put a separate 32 through than trying to insulate. Another one for manufacturers, merchants to stock inch and a half and all the kits and everything. It is really is simple, and I have had it with my own people, with my own uh, installers. They've been fitted onto existing under a sink, and then two months later, we get a problem with a leaking sink because it's been the problem. They said, well, it's just a nightmare under the sink. Tell you exactly what I've done. It's, I, because I was listening to Dave, and I thought, I'll just do it internally, and I'll run it into that sink. But it's, you're still not doing it right, and it's still going to freeze up or block up with food. So what I've done now on every install... I run it as far as I can internally to as, as close as I can get with all the actual stuff that we've got to be able to make that easier inside. When I run it outside, I run it on its own in 32 mil, and I use this condensate pro to insulate it to make it look right and work. So get away from the idea of I'll connect it into that washing machine, I'll connect it into that. Do your own. You're never going to get any cold back. It's going to work all the time. It's going to work even when it's cold, you know, even when it's and freezing it's up outside. So I'm going at, so that, that was uh, Liam, George Priest, Martin Smale, James Kane. So we've answered all those questions. So we've got another question here. So you ready? Go on. So Gary Renton, have you considered coming up with an insulated outside tap setup? Um, you know what? Janet wants to know this. <laughs> Janet wants. We've tried everything. So all these ones that do insulation and everything. That dog. What dog? That, that, that the insulation is just doesn't do it. So yeah, I am going to try and find a solution for that. To be honest, after this winter, because so, we had all the stop tap, all the sorry, the stop tap as well froze or uh, uh, for somebody, and we tried to unfreeze it, and it was just a nightmare. So yes. It's just that it's not going to be anything condensate pro or anything like that. I'm just going to make a solution and try and help. And this is why I love gas app and plum app because it's a, like a the normal a community. People, they don't of people. want to argue. They no, do, they want just, to we don't mind debating. No, debate's great. Great. It, it, it got a little bit. It got a little bit heated on the last one, but let's not take it off course, guys. Let's keep it professional. Gas app plum app is a fantastic place to be because now we've got something that we can then all work on. And if I can help in any way, I will, because I really do love the industry, and I hope this, uh, this has helped. But it's all there to help, and I want to be really a part of Gas Up and Plumber. So, But if you've got any questions, you can either talk to me or you can talk to Dave on here. He's got uh, people ready and manning the phones that he can just answer your phone straight away. Oh, yeah, Janet. <laughs> and so... <laughs> So if you do, if you've got any questions whatsoever, we've obviously tried to explain everything that we've got and all the um, the price structure, everything. So we're going to go on to this one, right? So get questions. Sam Butler, how Dave and Andy? What was the average cost of the Condensate Pro kit? Well, we talked about that. Didn't we? So average cost twenty five quid if you want to do it, or three six pounds, seven pound if you're going to make your own, and then every other meter would be six pound a length, all done perfectly. Or you use the connection kit, termination kits, and it's going to be around £25 for a connection and £6 a metre after that, because that's where you... The termination kit is only made for soil pipes, but then again, you can make your own if you want. Make your own. So Sam Butler says, hi, Dave and Andy. 
Can you tell me you've ever had any condensate pipe work freeze that has already been protected with condensate? Hundred percent, no. I don't know. No, not we haven't had one person come yet. And if the guy fitted, in Scotland, it's got to be fitted properly, hasn't it? So, it's like the guarantees. Yeah, you know, it's insulation. If you still, if it's still messed up and not terminated properly or not sealed correctly or not done right, that's why a lot of companies are saying to me they'd rather use the connection kits and everything. Then it's just like Lego A to B, B to C. But you've got professionals out there who can cut their own and mitre their own. They've got all the stuff to do it. it I've done. I've, I wanted to make a, and I really do mean it, a total solution for everything. So that was a the fresh. Uh, sorry, that was a question from Stephen Moene. I had to say his name because I like that's a good name, isn't it? So, uh, Kirk Pattenden. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't said that one right, did you? It's Pattenden. <laughs> Go on. Anyway, so. Hi Dave, spoke to you a couple of weeks ago about the Bond and Seal 85 gram tubes and the fact it's hard to get out. Fantastic that we've got that. Set. So, Alistair Sharp, what do you recommend for cutting the insulation with? You know, when we're doing the mitre block, when we're trying to mitre it ourselves. So, Just a, 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 an axe or a decent axe or one of those. Axe. You can get them long standing eyes with the clip off bits, can't you? The, yeah, you know just I mean? go steady, go so, careful. Yeah, be careful because they are a bit. And what, yeah, where is it? The quick cut. <laughs> No, for the insulation. <laughs> for the insulation, you've got it there. They're going to be made. That's going to be made into seventy as well for the air source heat pump. But what a fantastic design there from Zach. Zach made. He didn't have anything. Zach took a Cammy's my corners. Idea. They're called Cammy's corners. If you want to buy them in any shops, you can get them there. The DIY shop. So, when, so let's see what we're here. Steve Rogers. When fitting insulation oh. through a wall, is is any needed? to seal between the wall and the insulation right so some manufacturers are telling you to go all the way through and that is quite old because if you look at the hhic which all the manufacturers have been involved in what we've looked at and gone look it's never going to freeze inside so what they've come up with is if you are uh, looking and it's not insulated inside the cavity wall then insulate it but if you is insulated you know, you don't have to, but really is on the manufacturers. Talk to your manufacturers, not just on your manufacturers' instructions when you read them. Ring them up and find out what you are, what what they really want. <laughs> right, Patricia, brilliant product. Used it for the first time oh, like the other it. week and had to make mine completely from scratch. Do you do spacer bar separately? Yes. We will get it out there in the merchants eventually in the boxes of 200, but give us a shout and we'll sort it out. Ian Rice, is that the Ian Rice who were, who's just done his axe again? And we're on to down at, um, oh God, training centre. What is Sheffield? No. Oh, uh, come on. Sorry. Uh, yes. Talk uh, about Sterling. Uh, Sterling, 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 fantastic Gass. training centre. Really want to talk to a lot more training centres if everybody knows to get it out there and sort them out. Ian is Rice, there, Rice, Rice. Is there yearly maintenance on this? Does it have a lifespan? So you can need oh, so you need a combo kit and a separate termination. So you need a combo kit. So the combo kit has enough for a one meter. Yeah. yeah. The termination could be into a drain or could be anything. You can make that, or it could be into a soil pipe where you know that it needs to be spaced off a bit. So you know the the term the combo kit has everything in for a one meter. And that is what I've been asked, and we've brought it out this year, is because people are saying, look, they're under one metre, can you put everything in? So there's two clips, uh, pipe snug, a spacer bar, connection kit, and one length of insulation. Uh, yearly maintenance, no, it doesn't It doesn't have to be done. I've got some out here now, and it, over two years, and it still doesn't need to be have the maintenance coat, but it's there as and when it's needed. It's not needed yearly, but that is then, it helps you to tell the customer to still get that, maintenance contract to still get that yearly service because we're not just servicing boilers now we're servicing the system yeah so that the uh cheers ian it was lloyd stafford that said do you do lagging for heat pumps and external oil bars which we actually yeah. answered earlier so yeah so same if you ever talk to lloyd stafford he does some cracking you know one line of jokes <laughs> liam like if you go back to a job and the condensate lagging has been Scuffed, scuffed or damaged maintenance coat. Yep. Yeah, so we've been through that one. 
Uh, the maintenance coat, simple. If it's just been cut or damaged, then the bond and seal. Look, watch me. Look at my video about maintaining. That's good. As I've just told you about if it really is damaged, it needs cut on both ends, put a piece on, but really make sure it's sealed at the back. Any more? Are you? Well, I've, we've covered okay. everything on that on mine. So, um, is that is that Callum? I think we've got. Yeah, I think it's, I think yeah. that's what we've done. There is. The, where is the best place you can buy it? Yeah, you've done the, done that one. Tommy Blackburn, I love to use your product. Blackman, sorry. Tommy Blackman, I love to use your products and think they are they are really good. Install looks uh, install look far better than the than anything I can have used before. To make a, to make manufacturers demand that the boiler condensates are insulated with the products in the boiler manual. So it is in there. You're putting me off. I'm excited. I've got a question we haven't answered. Yeah, so this is another one. It's in the boiler manufacturer's instructions. You know, the boiler manufacturers are helping us and trying to and trying to endorse all the things. And as you saw, if you were on the ideal and the valiant helplines, they had a they had a phone line there, so they were getting inundated with calls. Yeah, it's up to let's talk to the manufacturers, but yeah. I know what you're saying, Tommy, because some people are still missing them out. And why should people do everything to the standards and other people not? And that is where we've, we've talked a bit, a lot about this, about the race to the bottom. The inter race to the bottom, if everybody does everything the same. Yeah, if, you, if you do the job proper, then you're all pricing for exactly the same job. My biggest one is we, should be do, we shouldn't be working 80 hours for 40 hours pay. We should be working 40 hours for 80 hours pay because we are... Skilled Why? professionals. You're taking gas into people's houses. You can blow them up. You can kill them with fumes. You Combi know, boiler two crazy. days. System boiler a week. You know, there'd be more work, more price, more you're not profit. Running and you're not racing you're not from running. job to job. So this one, the question I've yeah. got, the very last, got a bit last one. Mark Peebles, does it come in different colours, Dave? So we've just trialling this now. So, uh, and there's a one out there somewhere. Somebody says, can you get the insulation and use the maintenance coat? Yeah. And just put three or four coats on just any insulation and it it will it adhere. No, just try it, it just falls off. This has been specially etched, all done ready to prepare for that. It's got the black on. But what we are trialing now is if you do want the different colours, because you've got to think about the manufacturer, uh, sorry, the the merchants as well, stocking all them different ones. But we are going to do a different white ones. and a brown for the for different for, for the different plastics. So you've got a white. Uh, on the on the on a, or a brown, please email me because it'll get you in. But I'll send you the sample cans that we're going to get out there and see what you think because I want to use you uh, plum app and gas app for that. See how it goes. See so, what you think. So we're coming to the close of it now, aren't we? I think we've got more. We've, we've four minutes left, and there's two left. more questions. I just don't want to lose track of the prizes and how they win them. All right. What temp can it protect to? So we've been, we've trialed it for the last two to took nearly three years. Yeah. We've had it at minus 20. In we, we put in a, a fridge freezer. We trialled it at minus 20. We didn't have a problem for 48 hours. It depends on all the temperatures, wind chill, temperatures. It, but we can only just say that it just, it's just it gone to all the main temperatures at the moment. And in Scotland, it was 23, minus 23, and they never froze. Andy, how much are they? Is the, is the bird... Is it bird pet proof? Well, we haven't, we haven't had any pet yet, so and I don't know. Ask the birds if you can. What do you think? So, can't, no, can't get through. So so can't get no, through. is it poly? Is it is it poly pipe glue? Yes, yeah, solvent weld. I don't poly pipe glue. Solvent weld. Everything solvent weld. Uh, Callan, how about a test tube type kit for the bond and seal, as it's tough. To get out of the tube again, we've explained cut Test that corner tube. off, yeah. So and we're going to start and we've got these trying in there, so, so it's quite simple, like that. We've done there, that one's good, comes out really simple. But they are coming out now, they'll be sold separately and then see how it goes from there. Uh, but all your feedback is really uh, just keep sending as much feedback, uh, also sending some bits and bats out to people as well. Any plans? to tour the UK merchants when the pubs are out open. That'd be great. So get Z with Z, let's get busy. Callum, get where you want to be. We'll see you down there and we'll make it a, an afternoon. Are, are you going, are you going to, 
the installer event. In yes. Oh, so yeah. we're going to be there. Yeah, we're there. Are we? We're going to be there. We're here. So we're trying to get to the there's some other ones we're going to do as well. So there's the other effects, and also we're trying to get see when they all are. So I we're think trying the, to be the, really the, good the to see. The thing for you. me as an installer, and I know Dave's an installer, but he's an inventor, is touchy feely. It's absolutely brilliant. It doesn't fall to pieces. It works. I use this stuff because it's easy to use, and it looks great. So there you go. So competition, how do we win it? So hopefully you've all been going on that. You've got all night to still send us anything. Just say hello or whatever that gets you in. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll stop. We'll put everybody in. Everybody who's asked questions, there'll be double for, for, for asking a question. Banged all in. We'll do it and then we'll announce it at 8 o'clock on Gas App and Plum App. And hopefully, sorry, if you are apprentices or you've got apprentices, because I've had a question here from a plumber and I'll leave it out here. And if somebody, we can all answer it. Is, is 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 at college till nine o'clock oh, yeah. and he's asked a question on plumbing and i said i'm not not going to answer it and he says on his electric shower at home yeah, oh, yeah. when he's turning it on if somebody turns it flushes the toilet the the shower goes off come on guys we all know what it is flow it could be the flow restrictor and what was his name bless him i can't remember I don't, I don't and know. i left it was it on one of them i left it on its own no it's on one of them all right it can't, uh, let's find out because he, you know, we should. Uh, Mark, Mark Rolf. Mark Rolf, yeah. Okay. And he's been in charge of them ones and he's lost it. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can see he's been stressed. We Such have his fault. Big thanks to him because I've had a, I had a few little wobbles in. So when I were down, I had a, a couple of wobbles. I had a. Um, uh, what were it now? What would I do? Would it uh, just fell over that roll? What were it? Seizures. Seizures. Yeah, uh, but I'm out of them now, and I've got my license back. Ago. But big thanks to this man. He's been me proper, proper bro. Again, we went on a, a charity do. We loved him. Please, if you can get involved in charity do's, please. And then this is where I met this man. Zach, Zach, and he's, went, and he's, he's gone home on Saturday. That night, on Saturday, about three or four o'clock. Did that. By Saturday night, he'd invented that and he'd, he'd 3D I said to him, how much are they, Zach? Would you be able to buy a fiver? I went, right, no problem. Scan them through. I'll send them out to everybody. I don't want to make anything on it. Let's just help the installers. So, so let's yeah. all help each other. That's it. Fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks a lot. And that's why we <laughs> love plumbing. <laughs> and gas up and plum up. Plum up and, ga and gas up and plum up. Love you all. <clears throat> Thank you very much for Woo. listening. Did we get it on? No, now it's trying to get it off. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we should reach. have now a phone call. No, no, we should have a phone call now. Telling us we're still Telling live. Telling us we're still live. <laughs> Come on, Ant. He's oh. <laughs> <laughs> And we uh, should yeah. press. Where's... Has it gone 